Hello, in this video, we're going to go over the sign pad setup and then applying those electronic signatures to their respective tax returns. Now, to initially set up your sign pad, you're going to want to log into your software, and once you're looking at the dashboard, you're going to want to go towards the top right and click on the setup tab. Now, on this screen here, over on the left, you'll see a, a column of icons, and we're going to select the one that says sign pad. Now, on this page here, you're going to have an option to provide a signature as the firm, as well as providing a signature for the preparers. So you'll see up here, you've got your option. Which one do you want to use for the signature pad? And you can select either or. And as you can notice down below, the start button will jump from side to side. So we're going to start with the firm signature. And just so you're aware, with the online program, you are only able to sign either using your mouse or if you do have a touchscreen computer, you can use your finger or a stylus. Now for this example, I have a mouse, so that's what I'll be using. So once I've made my selection for firm signature, I'm going to click on start and then I'm just going to write very poorly. I'm going to write in firm. Now, if I have made a mistake, you can click on clear signature takes it right out and you can redo it. Um, but I, let's say this one is, this one looks good. So if it looks good, you can click on save signature and there it is, it's saved for you. And if you ever need to go back and adjust, you can click on modify and it'll take you back through the process. Now I'm gonna, um, I'm going to add a signature for uh, a preparer. So now I'm gonna select over here, prepare signature and it's going to default to the admin preparer, but if you have multiple preparers, you would just select their name on this list. And just like you would for the firm, we're going to click on start. I'm going to, for this one, just for, just to be silly, I'm going to put in a smiley face. All right, so now that I provided my preparer's signature, it looks good. I'm going to click on save signature. All right, so now my firm and my preparer signatures are saved. Let's go to a tax return and see how we can apply these to a tax return and as well as collecting the customer signature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on individual. And then I'm going to go to a sample return I've already created under clients and then we'll double click on their name. And then, so if you look up here, you're going to see a signature icon. So I'm going to click on this icon. It's going to open up a new window. Um, and at the top here, you're going to have a, an option of which forms you want them to apply to. You can pick and choose or select all if you'd wish. Um, and down below, you're going to have an option to apply the primary or the spouse's signature or both. Now, if this is a single return or head of household, there is no spouse. We don't have to worry about it. We're going to leave that blank. But, you know, there always will be a primary taxpayer. So just like before, we're going to click on start. And I'm going to put in just PT for primary taxpayer. And then I'm going to put in the date, today's date. And I'm going to click on save signature. All right, now my signatures are in place. I'm just going to close this window. And now to see an example of the signatures that I put in for the, the preparer as well as the uh, for the, the primary taxpayer, I'm going to go to view print and I'm going to select the 1040. And once I scroll down to the signature line, we're going to see that the signature has been applied. The PT for primary taxpayer here, as well as a little smiley face that I've used for the prepare. And these signatures will go to any other forms that, uh, that you have selected. State forms and um, 8879s and, and 8453s if they apply. Um, and essentially that is how you set up the sign pad and how you would use it. 